Now, of course, I know that Antwerp has officially been removed, and I talked about that in my removal video when the update actually occurred. I talked about what to expect in the next 24 to 48 hours or possibly a week from now. Lots of FOMO. There's going to be certain stickers or certain individual capsules that come up out of nowhere that start going almost maybe to a dollar, and how maybe you should sell at that point in time or sell when things start to rise or possibly just hold while things are very, very dirt cheap instead of panic selling. And this video wasn't really an Antwerp update or really anything to do with those stickers specifically. It was just telling you guys that Steam's down, why it's been down, which has been really annoying for me anyway. And I think it's probably for something bigger that we don't know about quite yet. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Steam trades alongside Steam confirmations, mainly for Counter-Strike Global Offensive, are once again down, which... This is starting to piss me off at this point in time. So if you guys are unfamiliar with the current situation that we currently have inside of CSGO trading, it seems to be the past three weeks, at least once a week, the past two times it's happened, it's happened two times a week. This week, it's only happened once, which is pretty good, where Valve is shutting down Steam confirmations and making them not work for an absurd amount of time. Today, it's already been about seven hours, I would say. And days prior, we've had almost 14, 15 hours where it would work for some people when it came back up after the 12 hour mark. And then it would take maybe a whole day day 15 to 24 hours for it to work for the majority of the other people and for me i'm in the circumstance where this morning at 6 a.m i was buying a knife on buff and I guess the trading went down and they actually refunded me what was going on. So at this point in time, trading is gone at the moment. And of course, the Steam market is absolutely skyrocketing. And that's what I want to discuss and why it's also happening at the exact same time. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit that like button and of course, subscribe. And here's a quick word from our video sponsor, Skins Monkey. Hello, buddy. Are you tired of your ugly skins? Nothing lost. Don't skip the ad. Open SkinsMonkey.com Trade your CSGO skins and receive up to $5 bonus for free. What are you waiting for? Don't be a loser and trade on Skins Monkey. Psst, there is also a 25% deposit bonus. So the Steam market right now with Steam trades and confirmations still being broken and of course still being down, that will vary for most people. Cases and stickers on the market have been going a little crazy, a little FOMO has been going on. And I feel like a lot of people that are using the Steam market maybe don't know or understand what's going on because a lot of people sometimes just buy stuff in the Steam market and of course not actually sell anything. I do that a lot of the time. So if I'm buying up a bulk amount of cases or I'm deciding what new investment I want to do or for, for an example, summer hype's happening kind of right now, people are going to buy a lot of items. They don't know that these items are already highly priced, which is just absolutely crazy that no one's even talking about it. And that's kind of the main thing I want to get into first is what is happening with these past three weeks. Obviously, my thoughts have been immediately sourced to. With all the leaks and rumors suggesting that Valve is going to release Source 2 within August, and this year we actually have hard evidence versus other years we just had rumors, like there are five or six or seven pieces of solid evidence we have that it's going to come out soon. And with an August 12th release date, hopefully, that's in the next couple of weeks. And well, the past three weeks or four weeks at this point, Valve has been really messing around with Steam confirmations. And I think a lot of that is to do with, of course, transferring skins over to the Source 2 engine or something to do with that. Now, I'm not a wizard with stuff like that, but it was just you know, an estimated guess. And I also have quite a few videos coming on on that topic very, very soon, which is very cool. Another thing that makes me want to believe that is Valve hasn't come out and said anything. If something like this was happening, maybe from a scam going on, or that's what I maybe originally thought it was, was possibly a scam, like an insider thing going on at Valve that was possibly a scam. They shut down trading for the first time this happened, and then it happened again. It happened again, and it's not every single day either. It's like a once a week or twice a week thing. That's what it makes me think. So that's why it makes me think it's some sort of update in the game. And the fact that they're not saying anything about it just kind of goes to show that I think it's that. They want to hide it and kind of surprise us with something at the end. And kind of how we saw last week with the demand with Antwerp capsules while Steam was down, it was actually pretty high. This actually rose prices quite a bit from what they were. A lot of the hollows like the Cloud9 sticker went up two or three dollars in that matter of time and actually held their value pretty well after. The capsules actually went up two or three cents after, which was kind of crazy to consider as well. So that meant supply and demand was pretty good. The demand was definitely people were wanting to unbox these and buy them, of course. And right now it doesn't really seem like that, which and that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be a bad thing in the future, but it's just something to keep in mind. So with that being said, Steam's down. Steam is broken. I don't know when it's going to come back. I hope it's going to come back and it never goes back down like this again. Maybe in the next couple of weeks, this will be over with forever and Source 2 comes out. Who knows? 